You may have seen a few more tarantulas than usual on the Central Coast lately, and it's because it's mating season for the spiders. KSBY News supporter Alexa Bertola explains what you need to know. Now through November, you might start to see more tarantulas out and about here along the Central Coast as the males are looking to mate. They're really gross. <laughs> um, they're really big and just frightening. They're just amazing animals. Whether you have arachnophobia or not, tarantulas will make the inevitable trek to find a mate, possibly along a street near you. I spotted quite a few, actually. There was one uh, one time I was going down 4th Street, and it's, it was right in the middle of the road, just walking like a car would. Local entomologist Dennis Sheridan says in the weeks to come, you may start to see more and more of these creatures with eight eyes and eight legs out on our country roads during dusk and dawn. Here are some viewer photos of sightings in northern San Luis Obispo County. Whenever you see a tarantula out walking on the road, it's a male on a walkabout, not from Australia, but a walkabout to look for a female mate. He says their burrows are often in stream beds or low water places where they might get flooded out with the first rain, so they're out thinking ahead to survive and also to grow the population. Sheridan says females live for 25 to 30 years, while the males usually live for three to five years. He says he doesn't believe the drought will play a role in whether we see more or less of the animals. If it rains or not, the males are going out looking for females to mate, period. If you do spot one, it's just best to let them pass and carry on, or you can help them out too. And I shoo it off the road. And if you were a homeowner and you found one in your garage, I would gently use a broom or whatever you wish to ask it to walk out. California tarantulas are very docile and mellow and are not looking to bite. They're an extremely important part of our environment and they uh, help a lot of things go through the food chain. In Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. A mother tarantula can lay hundreds of spiderlings and they go off on their own to collect insects to eat.